I'm just saying, like, if I'm gonna fuck. Okay, no good. Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, it's so good to see you. You too. Um, so since you uh, chose the last place, I thought uh, we could come here. Yeah, French is my favorite. Oh, so. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, enchanté. Oh. <laughs> it's French. Um, après vous. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's how I know your friend Patricia. Well, Patricia actually told me that you got a girl pregnant in college. Oh, uh, she said that. Mm -hmm. uh, well. I was going to Brown, and this girl, Madeline, was going to Providence College, and a visiting professor got her pregnant, but he wasn't around to help her in her time of need, so I went to class and got her notes and held her hand through the delivery. And now little baby Justin <laughs> is on tour with Madeline with the Indigo Girls. I um, just spent the week at, at, at the beach and I just read the whole time. <laughs> I don't understand people that don't read. Have you been reading anything lately? I, I am. I love reading. I love it. Um, I am reading uh, right now The Memory Keeper's Daughter, which is great. Uh, before that, Water for Elephants. Um, before that, a couple of books by David Sedaris. Um, and uh, Zadie Smith's White Teeth. Uh, the number one ladies detective agency, uh, really great. Those are pretty girly books. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, The Time Traveler's Wife? Uh, Candace Bushnell? So, uh, Justin, what do you do for a living? Oh, um, actually I'm independently wealthy, so I... I don't really have to work, but um, I studied medicine while I was in Tuscany. So I do a lot of pro bono work for this little pediatric oncology center. Cool? Okay. Uh, let's get down to business. Uh, really, how much do you weigh? Like, no bullshit. Uh, while we're at it, waiter, three shots of Jägermeister, two for the lady. Miss, I should tell you, uh, you just have magnificent tits. And, uh, listen, I'm not big into female orgasms, so if you have a problem with that. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Justin, I have to tell you something. I, um, I just broke up with my boyfriend of five years, and I actually invited him here to, to prove to him that I'm better off without him. <laughs> I am better off without you! What? Okay.